Hi my loves, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome here in this channel. We talk about relaxed hair care, hair growth stage, protective styling, and so much more concerning the hair topic in general. So if you know you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to join the family. So in today's video, I'm here with a story time. My relaxer routine or my previous relaxer story time. So without further ado, let's just get started with the story. Hmm. Story, story story okay so you guys would not believe what happened like i said in i think my secrets video or my lane check video this relaxer routine or this this last relaxer i just did was the most stressful i think out of all the relaxer routines i've done so far at least out of all the ones i have personally done on my hair so far because i've been self-relaxing like my hair for the past i think three to four years so out of all those i think this was the most stressful some things happened after the relaxer application process some things happened during my silk press routine i'm going to talk about the one for my silk press routine in another video because that one was even more crazy like you guys would not believe it so the one i'm going to be talking about today is what happened after my relaxer application process so if you did not know i relaxed my hair a few days ago at 15 weeks post relaxer or after a 15 weeks relaxer stretch i've already uploaded it in the video i uploaded the relaxer routine the deep conditioning the tangly routine air drying silk press i did the length check so you can check out all those videos if you are interested so i relaxed my hair and it was also supposed to be a corrective relaxer here yeah? so i actually relaxed a lot of hair like a lot of inches i think i actually went a bit too far and i think i may have actually overlapped my relaxers that day because i was trying to be so so careful to avoid getting under processed hair and unprocessed hair again like leaving out anything so that's why i had to go a little extra to get everything so that all my hair would be fully relaxed like there will be no part that is left out so i actually went a little extra meaning i may have actually overlapped my relaxers and if you notice in that video i did not actually grease my previously relaxed hair which i was supposed to but i forgot yeah i forgot i only greased my hairline my edges my ear area and all that so i actually forgot to grease my previously relaxed hair meaning if i actually overlapped my relaxer there was actually risks of over processing so knowing that i you know was supposed to stick with the normal relaxer application time like the duration and everything wash my hair out as quickly as possible like for fine hair the duration is going to be different like from the moment you apply start applying the relaxer on your hair to when you eventually wash off the relaxer for fine hair i think it's about 10 minutes for medium textured hair it should be about 10 to 15 minutes then for coarse i think it should be about 15 15 to 20 minutes if i'm not mistaken so uh, the more textured your hair is the longer you may have to leave your relaxer the more fine your hair is the shorter the duration you may have to leave in your relaxer so i have coarse so i usually leave on my relaxer for about 15 to 20 minutes so and if you guys know i use super strength relaxer meaning i have to really stick with the time because one i have to avoid scalp bonds since it's a super strength relaxer and two i have to avoid over processing again because it's a super strength relaxer so that's why i am supposed to be really really like sensitive to time like keep up with time and all that but you guys will believe what happened on that day so as you know i uploaded that video so i was actually filming with my phone yes i don't have a camera yet i have been filming with my phone since i started this youtube channel and i am still filming with my phone so i usually film with my phone and i filmed with my phone on that day and i wanted to get every little detail like every part of the relaxer routine apart from the fact that i noticed you guys love my relaxer routines it was actually my first corrective relaxer so i didn't want to you know miss out any parts so i finished the relaxer application process i was supposed to hop in the shower and wash off the relaxer and this is where things started getting funny so i noticed my storage 
started giving me signs my storage started warning me my storage became full and with that i couldn't do anything like unless i want to wash off the relaxer like do the wash routine and all that without filming it and i didn't want to do that even though i know the health of my hair is supposed to come first but i don't know why i was trying to catch everything on camera okay so i don't know maybe it's common for all youtubers but that was what i felt that they wanted to get every part of the journey and it would have been so so painful if i missed out anything i decided to transfer some files from my phone to my laptop and this was where things went haywire you know when i started transferring i thought everything was going to take like five minutes ten minutes and i'll be done i'll hop in the shower and all that and you know it's not just about hopping in the shower because i actually relaxed my hair in this section of my room that day so moving to my bathroom i will have to carry my tripod carry my lights like set up everything so that's going to take a little bit of time so uh, i didn't i did not even calculate that time like i did not even add that time put that time in consideration before this whole drama started so i started transferring the files now when the transfer started i was supposed to everything was supposed to have been transferred in like i think 10 to 15 minutes and in my mind i was like oh god this is so long like compared to how long i'm supposed to leave this relaxer on my hair adding another 10 to 15 minutes i was just i was just like ah, let this thing just transfer fast so that i can just open the shower and wash off this thing from my hair you know after about seven minutes into the transfer like it was halfway through my phone disconnected I don't even know what happened it just disconnected and everything was like a waste so that seven minutes was a waste and at that point i know i would have probably just jumped in the shower and just quietly wash the relaxer off my hair and just calm down and maybe mourn the clips that i may have lost but no i decided to push it i decided to take the risk and do the transfer again so i think the whole application process from when i started to when this whole drama started should be about i don't know 20 minutes 25 minutes i can't really remember how long it took but i think between 20 to 30 minutes no i don't think it was up to 30 minutes let's say 20 to 25 minutes so let's say 25 minutes 25 minutes plus seven minutes that's like 32 minutes already gone so i had to start the transfer again and oh god and you know during this whole time i was so so sensitive like my scalp it was not that my scalp was bony and all that but like i was so anxious i was scared like what if i get scalp burns and all that plus if you watch my video you notice that there was actually relaxer on my face on my shoulders and there's a possibility like i said at time like i may have overlapped relaxers so i really wanted to wash off everything as quickly as possible so all those things going through my head at that point were actually making me anxious so even when i was you know selecting the files to transfer and all that i was not really thinking straight i was just trying to be you know so so fast like i was so so anxious and trying to be so so fast that i was now being i don't know making silly mistakes so eventually i started the transfer again and it's this time around it was successful it took about 10 minutes so 32 minutes plus 10 minutes is how many minutes guys 42 minutes so i may have had a relaxer on my hair a super strength relaxer for nothing less than 42 minutes now after that i didn't take into consideration the time i spent transferring my light transferring my tripod like setting up the phone on the tripod and all that in my bathroom that may have taken like two to three minutes so let's say 45 minutes hmm i don't even know how it happened like i didn't come out with carbon because as i was entering the shower after that 45 minutes i was like yay it has happened like i am going to get carbon i may probably have over processed hair my hair, my hair may have damaged like i was entering the shower with 
so many thoughts in my head but i don't know what happened everything came out fine i didn't get scar bonds i didn't get over processed hair. i didn't lose more hair than necessary and it was just shocking like because seriously it was crazy now i am here joking about it laughing about it turning it into a story time but guys on that day i was tense i was anxious you may have built something for eight years but to destroy something it takes just a second like imagine my hair journey i've gotten to this stage over eight years and one silly mistake may have completely ruined everything eight years of hard work eight years of sweat and tears yes it's actually sweat and tears guys because there are times you'll be detangling your hair and you'll be sweating there are times you detangle your hair you see so much hair loss and you may feel like crying so it's actually hard work of with sweat and tears so imagine all that going to waste because of a silly mistake i was just been I don't know if I should use the word too confident that day. But I am so happy and thank God that everything came out fine. I got everything on camera. My hair came out fine. And there were no regrets. Okay? There were no regrets. That was the most exciting and happy part of all this drama. Everything came out fine because it would have turned into a sad story time. If I came on here in my next video and I probably announced to you guys that I was going to chop off everything or get a big chop because my hair was damaged from leaving a relaxer too long on my hair like that is just crazy i am so happy and grateful to god that everything came out fine and and that is not going to repeat itself again nah nah whenever i'm going to carry out a routine like that i'm going to make sure i have enough storage on my phone because this just imagine what would have happened that day if everything went otherwise just because of phone storage just, just imagine so yeah i don't know why i'm sharing this story time with you guys it may probably not be of help to you in your hair journey no it may still be of help okay and this is to let you know that everything or all your routine may not go as planned and sometimes what you see about my hair routines on the camera and it be different from behind the scenes imagine i didn't give you guys a story time you would not have known that i left a relaxer on my hair for 45 minutes so it can actually be a source of inspiration to someone out there for us to there are times to make mistakes no one is perfect it's actually possible to make mistakes on your during your hair routines even if you've been carrying out that routine on your hair for 10 years okay so anything can happen so whenever you make a hair mistake with or without regrets like whether everything came out positive or negative pack yourself together and start again because no one is perfect anyone can make mistakes and this is also a message to my fellow hair youtubers out there before you carry out any hair relaxer routine or any delicate routine on your phone or on your camera whatever you want to use make sure you have enough storage so that you will not live on your relaxer on your hair for almost one hour like me like i did which may have led to my hair being damaged if not for i don't even i don't know if i recall it lock but thank god everything came out fine so yeah guys that's it for my little story time i just decided to you know make this video a little bit different from my usual videos you know like just give you guys a little idea a little info of what might behind the scenes of my hair care routine look like sometimes so i hope you actually enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are new here please consider subscribing to join the family and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i upload a new video so yeah guys thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye